Aleluya. Grabe. Masayang masaya po kami dito sa studio dahil bukas magkakambingan po kami. <laughs> Meron na sumagot sa soft drinks at may sumagot na po sa pinakbit at mga tilapia. Kaya it is a big day for us. Uh, ano ba itong celebration ito? It is our 50th day of live streaming. Maral nakikita nyo, today is the 40th day pero... From Monday to Friday, yun, hindi nila sinasama yung Sunday uh, worship services. So, bukas, 41st day, Monday to Friday yon. Pero yung Sunday, hindi nila sinama. Kaya, plus 9 Sundays, that is 50. Pentecostal, ha? Pentecostal, ha? Pente means uh, 50. So, we will have a celebration, okay? Very grave. Kung gusto nyo sumama... You are welcome, of course. But bring your own. Uh, pwede kayo magdala ng ice cream, pwede kayo magdala ng mga ibang pagkain para masaya, no? Uh, dyan lang po kami sa extension ng ating parking lot under ng Duha 3, ha? Uh, hindi po siya LA, kundi uh, DA, Duha, uh, Lalam, Lalam Duha, LD, ha? LD, ha? Uh, LD, uh? Uh, la, lalim na, uh, sa ilalim ng duhat ng puno kahon. Ang aming mga pang-dessert ay ang daming bunga po ng ating duhat ngayon. Ha? At ang duhat namin, uh, malalaki po ang bunga, ganyan kalalaki. No? Sampu lang, busog ka na. So anyway, magandang, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, our dear viewers. Grabe! sabi mo sa inyong katabi, grabe si Lord! At maaga po ang uwak o kaya agila kanina po, no? Nagdala ng McDo, ha? At grabe po, uh, ang, ang sabi, ng, uh, sabi ni Kuya Larry, uh, hindi ko tinanggap ang aking uh, SAP, ha? yung uh, Social Amir ano Amelioration Program. Sabi ko, please ibigay na lang po sa mga higit na nangangailangan at alam nyo po, dahil ginawa niya yon, imagine nyo po, ah, ang tagal na po ng walang trabaho, biglang dumating ang, uh, ang binigay ng dati niyang kumpanya sa kanya. Kaya tuwang-tuwa po, napakaaga dito, nagdala ng uh, McDonald's uh, breakfast at nagbigay po sa kanya ng uh, tithes and offering plus thanksgiving offering. Kaya grabe po, iba po talaga pagka si Lord ang magbigay ng sap. Kasi, siyempre, uh, malaking tulong yun po yung galing sa gobyerno. Pero pag si Lord, ha, sobra ang pagpapala. Yan po ang sap ni Lord. No? Sobra ang pagpapala or supernatural abundant provisions. Amen. Ang iba po, akala nila, eh, uh, barbe, kwentong barbero lang ito. Eh, no? uh, alam nyo, when you have a faithful God and you believe Him and you obey Him and you love Him, and you are faithful to Him, ay talagang gugulating ka ni Lord. Kaya one of my favorite verses sa Bible, yung uh, Ephesians 3.20, and I believe, kayo po my dear viewers, eh, gustong gusto nyo po ang Ephesians 3.20, no? Yung superlatives na nakala nakalagay dyan, nang sabihin ni Apostle Paul, our, my God is able. Uh, yun lang, well, salitang yun, tama na eh, no? God is able. Kasi yung iba, disable eh, no? But our God is able to, for what? To do exceedingly. That's uh, superlative yan. Abundantly. More than you think. Yeah? More than you think and ask according to the power that is at work within you. Yan ang Diyos ko. Kung ganyan din ang Diyos mo, ah, wala kang problema. Ha? Huh? Ba't ka uh, matatakot? Bakit ka mababalisa? Bakit ka magpapanik? When your God is the creator of the heavens and the earth and He is the Almighty God and is so good and so kind to us at talagang uh, ano problema natin? Baka tayo na ang problema noon. Hindi na ang Diyos. Okay? So, para maging masaya ang umaga natin at magana ang umaga natin, no? lalo na yung pagkain natin habang kayo kumakain, Pampagana, pampasaya. Ang iba naman, pampagising. Ha? Kasi tutulog-tulog pa yung iba, no? At 
At pang uh, pag uh, talagang pagpa-excited ito. Grabe po, no? Napakabuti ni Lord. Kaya this is the day, sabi ng Bible, that the Lord has already blessed and ordained for all of us. So let us choose to rejoice. Choose to glorify God. Choose to honor God. And choose to trust God, okay? So with this song, we have a new worship leader. Uh, kasi... Akala kasi ng mga viewers namin, naglilip sing lang. Ha? Ah, tinatanong nila, talaga bang umaawit si Pastor So and So? Sabi niya, sabi ko, abay, umaawit siya. Na, eh, worship leader yan. Pwede ba siyang mag-special number? Sabi niya, ah, hindi na siya mag-special number. Mag-worship lead po siya. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Pastor Ted and the worship team. Woo! Sa inyong lahat, ilakin po ninyo na maging masaya, masigla ang iyong araw, ang iyong umaga. Kung hindi man masaya, you have to choose to be uh, in the mode of rejoicing. Amen po ba? Kaya sa oras na ito, tayo po umawit, awitan natin si Lord, awitan natin ang aking sarili. Yung pong ating uh, paborito, walang kamataya. Ay, kay ganda ng umaga. Hallelujah! Woo! Come on! Ganda, kay ganda ng umaga, pag si Jesus, si Jesus ang inuna. Kay ganda, kay ganda ng umaga, araw-araw ay masaya. Kay ganda, kay ganda, kay ganda ng umaga, pag si Jesus, si Jesus ang Kasanting, kasanting naming aba Nung si Jesus, si Jesus ing una Kasanting, kasanting naming aba Aldo, aldo, tabong masaya Kasanting, kasanting naming aba Nung si Jesus, si Jesus ing muna Kasanting, kasanting naming aba Aldo, aldo, tabong masaya Puno ng pag-asa Dahil ba 
sila punong puno ng pag-asa dahil mahal tayo ng ating ama dahil mahal tayo ng ating ama yes lord dahil mahal tayo ng ating ama Hallelujah, tayo po'y manalangin. O napakaganda ng araw na ito, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat sapagkat kami po ay muli mong binigyan ng pagkakataon upang mabuhay. Salamat, Panginoon, paggising pa lang namin kaninang umaga. Panginoong Diyos, kami po'y binulagana ng iyong pagpapala, panibagong kalakasan, panibagong pag-asa. At alam ko, ang buong araw na ito ay punong-puno ng mga sorpresa mula sa inyo. Panginoon, Dalangin ko na sa araw na to, Panginoon, pagharian mo ang aming mga buhay. Pagharian mo ang aming mga tahanan. Pagharian mo ang aming bansa. At dalangin namin, Panginoong Diyos, kayo po ay patuloy na magminister sa bawat isa, lalong-lalo na sa mga viewers po namin nanonood wherever they are, sa kanilang mga tahanan, sa mga opisina, Panginoon, sa mga checkpoints, sa mga hospitals, Lord. Panginoong Diyos, dalangin ko, i-invade mo ang bawat lugar na ito ng inyong banal na presensya. Punuin mo ang araw na ito ng saya, ng galak at tuwa. At ayaan mo, Panginoon, na kayo po, O Diyos, ang siyang makasama namin sa buong araw na ito ng aming buhay. Marami pong maraming salamat. Pinupuri ka namin. At ngayon pa lamang po, Panginoong Diyos ay dinitiklara na namin, Panginoong Diyos na tagumpay na ang lahat ng mga gawain, ang lahat ng mga lakarin namin Hallelujah. sa buong araw na ito. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, ito pong aming panalangin. Amen. Yes, Lord. The reason why we are here, Lord, because you love us. And the reason na kami po ay nabubuhay pa dahil sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Nothing will separate us from the love of God. Neither famine, troubles, or anything. Nothing will separate us from your love, O God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hold me close. Let your love surround me. Bring me near. Draw me to your side. And I The power of your love Lord I come to you let my heart be changed real you flowing from the I come to know the weaknesses I see in me will be stripped away by the power of your I'll wait, I'll wait. 
in the book of John, chapter 6, verse 20. And, and Jesus said to them, It is I, don't be afraid. So, sabi po niya, uh, kung tayo po ay natatakot para po sa mga nangyayari ngayon sa ating buhay, let us remember, Jesus said, It is I, I will protect you, I will heal you of your diseases, do not be afraid. If worry comes, O yung mga finances po natin, although na-extend po ang bayarin, but then again, darating po rin po yun para bayaran natin. <laughs> Lagi nating tatandaan, Jesus said, I am your provider, I will provide, do not be afraid. And if we are have fear of the future, after this, what will happen? Anong future ng mga anak ko? Uh, Lagi po nating tatandaan, John 6.20, Jesus said, It is I. I am the beginning and the end. I am the Alpha and Omega. I am your future. Do not be afraid. Good morning po sa ating lahat.
afraid. Yun po mismo ay salita ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. My dear viewers, sabi ni Lord, it is I. Ah? He decided, do not be afraid. I am in control, okay? I am the creator of the heavens and the earth. I love you so much. I will take care of you. And I am in control. So, don't be afraid. It is I, huh? Right, thank you very much, Pastora Lorena. Okay. Uh, meron po tayong uh, uh, survey at nasa Gazette po, TFBC Gazette, huh? We have almost 3,000 members at TFBC Gazette. So we ask for your uh, uh, honest, uh, just be honest, no? Uh, uh, ang survey po ay ganito, gusto mo na bang magsamba sa TFBC sa Sunday, May 17? Okay? Kung ayaw nyo, huwag na lang kayo magano. Yung kung gusto nyo, yes lang po. You have only one choice, Yes. At kung uh, gusto nyo na, sabi nyo lang, yes. Kung ayaw pa at mas gusto nyo na magstay sa bahay nyo at, at mas kampanti kayo, mas payapa kayo at buo naman ang pamilya, nandiyan kayo, uh, wag na lang kayo sumagot. Pero kung uh, talagang, talagang uh, sabik na sabik ka nang pumunta sa church, Sabihin niyo lang po, yes. Okay, yan po ang, ang survey natin. Gusto mo na bang magsamba sa linggo May, 20, uh, May 17? Yan po ang ating survey. So we need your, kung wala kayong, uh, kung, wala, uh, kung ayaw niyo na, ayaw niyo, please, uh, wag, wag lang, okay? Pero kung gusto, gusto niyo na, sa niyo, yes. Sigurado malalaman namin kung sino kayo, okay? <laughs> anyway, uh, it's okay. Kung yes, praise God. Kasi we are ready anytime. We will do the worship ce uh, celebration here, no? Pero kung uh, gusto natin talaga, uh, mas payapa ang ating puso, at uh, uh, ayaw nating uh, nagkakaroon ng mag nag worry so we, we, we would rather stay in the home. And meron naman tayong uh, TFBC TV live. Uh, uh, we are excited, of course, uh, to see you. And I know you are excited to see us. But for the good of everyone, eh, mas maganda na makipag-cooperate at mag-stay. No? Uh, but regardless of your honest uh, uh, answer, it's okay. No? Yun po. I uh, would like to congratulate si Pastor Van Duque. Uh, kaninang oh, madaling araw, ah, uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, ng anak si Andrea, ng napakagandang anak, baby girl. Nagmana ito sa kanyang lola. Uh, lola kay Lola Cheat at Lola uh, <laughs> sa mother ni, uh, ni uh, Obeng at ni Andrea, of course. Uh, would like to thank our sponsors. Uh, kanina po, uh, napakaga nagdala ng pagkain si Kuya Larry Carpio. You should see him. He's like an angel uh, dumating sa TFBC. Dahil, uh, ako, lang, ako lang po na nandito kanina. At uh, so happy. Uh, kasi, mira mo, yung sap niya, uh, uh, sabi niya, ibigay na lang po sa iba. Sa mas higit na nangangailangan. Alam mo, nung ginawa niya yun, suddenly... His old company sent him uh, yung kanyang blessing. I mean, uh, yung kanyang uh, sweldo, pinadala po ng kanyang company at siya po'y nagulat. Actually, hindi ka dapat magulat, no? Ang nakakagulat kung walang dumating na pagpagpapala after uh, giving up your sap, no? Uh, sigurado po yun. Siguradong mas sigit ang kapalit na ipagkakalob ni Lord. Of course, tuwan-tuwa tayo, we are grateful sa support ng gobyerno, ang tulong ng gobyerno. Pero tayo po ang mga sugapa kay Lord, uh, mas excited tayo sa mga uh, supernatural, miraculous provision ni Lord. Kasi nararandaman mo talagang ang Diyos mo'y buhay sa gitna ng matinding crisis. Uh, when, every, when many people are so worried and so afraid, and they are panicking, here you are, a child of God, you are so comfortable, you are so peaceful, and so confident dahil hindi tayo pababayan ni Lord. 
And yesterday, our good uh, congressman ng 2nd District, our, gov our congressman Vic Kiap, ay nagpadala po. Ah, pakitingnan nga yan. Uh, 60 pieces po yan sa lahat ng mga kapastoran, kapastoran at leaders and volunteers ng TFBC. Uh, galing po yan sa ating congressman. Biro mo, nakatatlong beses tayong nagbigay ng uh, relief. Tayo naman ay binahagi na naman ng relief. No? Uh, of course, we are grateful sa ating uh, congressman Bikyap. Thank you very much po. Uh, salamat po sa... Meron yata magpapakain sa amin uh, mamaya. Pero pumapalakpak pa po kami, okay? Hindi <laughs> declare po. May magpapakain sa amin mamaya, kaya pumapalakpak po kami. Uh, ang ibig sabihin, parating pa lang. Itatouch pa lang ni Lord, okay? So, thank you very much. Okay, ngayon pong umaga, uh, we have a guest. Our guest, one of our satellite pastors. Uh, siyam po ang satellite, nine po ang satellite pastors at churches ng TFBC. And one of them is from our, from northeast ng Tarlac, si Pastor Conrad. Siya po ang pastor ng TFBC Victoria, ang pinaka hometown ng aking uh, pinaka mamahal na asawa si Ati Edith. At of course, kasama niya ang nagbigay ng verse for today ngayon ay si Pastora Lorena. It is I, do not be afraid. That is a very powerful word from Jesus. So, uh, let's welcome muna si Pastor Conrad and then, and then and, uh, batin nila kanilang mga masugid na uh, mga kaibigan, familia, at of course, uh, kapuso sa TFBC Victoria. Pastor Conrad, welcome po sa TFBC TV Life. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Amin po na minamahal na viewers. Tunay nga na napakabuti ng Panginoon. At uh, binigyan niya tayo ng isang ganitong napakabagong umaga. Kagaya ng pagsikat ng araw, ganun din sisikat ang pag-asa sa buhay mo ngayong araw na ito. Uh, binabati po namin ang aming mga uh, kapatid dyan sa Victoria, TFBC Victoria. Binabati po namin kayo ng pinagpalang umaga po. Namimiss na po namin kayo at huwag kayong magalala ang pagmamahal namin sa inyo ay nananatili. At habang nasa lockdown tayo, mas lalong lumalala ang pagmamahal namin sa inyo. Excited kami na makita na kayo. Binabati din po namin ang aming mga kapamilya dyan sa Kamiling, wow. sa Palimbu proper, ang aking mga magulang, ang aking mga kapatid, mga pamangkin, mga bayaw, ang aking mga biyanan dyan sa Malakampa, Kamiling, Binabati po namin kayo ng isang pinagpalang umaga. Lahat ng mga kamag-anakan ko na nakatutok ngayon sa TFBC TV Live, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Si Ate Lorena, baka meron kang gustong batihan sa Tarlac Electric or sa mga kaibigan mo. Uh, hello po, magandang morning po sa ating lahat. So, <laughs> binabati ko po, hello sa lahat yung binabati ko po ang aking pamilya, ang Agustin family from Malacan pa Kamiling Tarlac. Hello! Ang Martin hello. family sa Palimbo proper. Good morning po ang aking mga anak, si Yael at si Yani. Mga kuya, love you! <laughs> ang amin pong TFBC Victoria family, we miss you guys. See you soon. Stay safe. <laughs> at ang amin pong tribe leader, si Pastor Banjo at si Ate Yen, miss na po namin kayo. Ang amin pong mga tribe members, thank you po sa inyong prayers and support. Sa atin pong lahat, sa lahat ng nanonood, hello po. Hello, Tarlac City. Hello, Philippines. Hello, world. <laughs> Iba talaga ang feeling ni Doña Lorena, artista, no? Ha? Worldwide, ha? ha? Global, ha? Grabe, ang sarap ng feeling, no? Anong feeling nyo kung nandito kayo sa TFBC TV Live? Kasi sa amin, eh, pagka matagal na, normal na sa amin ito, eh, no? Pero sa inyo, new normal siguro sa inyo ito, no? Opo, new normal. Okay? Uh, uh, relax lang kayo, no? Uh, ikwento nyo kung ano ang... Uh, ginagawa ninyo during the lockdown sa pamilya nyo, sa pamilya muna, no? Uh, kung gaano, uh, anong ginawa naman ni Lord sa inyo during the lockdown. Okay? 
pastor. Uh, by the way, nagpapasalamat po kami. Huwag kang tumingin sa akin dahil... Nagpapasalamat po kami, Bishop, sa opportunity na ipinagkaloob niyo po sa amin ngayon para makapagbahagi ng kabutihan ng ating Panginoon sa kabila ng ganitong uh, sitwasyon, hindi lang sa buong Pilipinas, kundi sa buong mundo na nararanasan nating lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po, Bishop. So, ang ginagawa po namin sa aming family habang nandito po ang pan pandemic na ating pinagdadaanan ngayon, ang COVID-19. Uh, una po, talaga pong pinagsumikapan po namin mag-asawa, nag-uusap po kami every, every night na matutulog kami, pinagsumikapan po namin na magkaroon po ng regular na Bible study sa aming compound, sa aming uh, bakuran, kasama yung pamilya ng panganay na kapatid ko, kasama yung pamilya ng pangalawang kapatid ko, kasama ang nanay ko, ang mga pamangkin ko, lahat kami doon sa compound. At ang napakaganda pong ginawa ng Panginoon ay uh, naibahagi ko sa kanila kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng kagaya ng sinasabi ni Bishop na born again doon kabang nagpipreach. Naibahagi ko sa kanila at ang napakagandang balita po, lahat po kami sa aming pamilya doon sa Palimbo Proper Kamiling Tarlac ay tumanggap sa Panginoon. Born again na po kaming lahat. Born again na po kaming lahat. Kaya malakas ang loob ko na sabihin ang sinabi ng Panginoon, ang sinabi ng salita ng Diyos na As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Napakabuti ni Lord. At yung aming mga anak naman, mga pamangkin po namin, pinagsumikapan po namin, pinagsumikapan ko po na maiparanas sa kanila ang buhay ng isang kabataan noong 90s. Pinaglaro ko po sila, pinaglaro ko po sila ng patentero, ng uh, yung uh, tumbang preso, ng piko, para po pansamantalang maiwasan po nila yung paggamit ng mga gadgets natin. Kaya tinuro ko po sa kanila yon yung bunso nga po namin, madalas niyang sabihin, Daddy, ngayong araw na ito, ano yung lalaroin namin? Ano yung ituturo mo sa amin? At ang maganda pa po na ikinatuwa ng aming mga anak, dahil ang laruan ko po nung bata pa ako ay yari lang sa lata, ginawan ko po yung anak ko ng ang laruan ay gulong na, ang gulong niya ay lata, tapos meron siyang elisi na lata din, may hawakan na kawayan, kapag itinulak mo, umiikot yung gulong, umiikot din yung elisi, at tuwang-tuwa po yung anak ko. Di ba nakuha ng uh, lumipat, Pastor? Uh, <laughs> yan po, hindi po. Nakalipad ba? <laughs> hindi po. Ah, okay, uh, alright. At tuwang-tuwa po yung anak ko po doon, dahil wow. ang mga laruan ngayon, puros binibili na lang. Pero doon po, pa. nakita niya na tatay niya mismo, ang daddy niya mismo, ang gumawa ng laruan para sa kanya. Kung napalipad mo yan, mas mamamang. Mas, ma mas, mas matutuwa ang <laughs> anak mo, ha? Eh, yung siyatong. Alam mo yung siyatong? Yes, Bishop. Maganda yung siyatong. Eh, turo mo sa kanila yon. Opo, Bishop. Tsaka yung uh, pitikan, yung, uh, yung bang ganyan ka, tapos pipitikan na uh, yung ganon? Yung ganyan? Ha? Pitik bulat. Kasi, jack and po yan, eh. Pagka natalo siya, Pitikin mo. Uh, ako, gustong-gusto ko yun. Talagang uh, namamagana yung kamay ng aking kasama. Eh, no? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. mag ano pa yung magandang uh, laro? Yung mga larong... Uh, nung, kasi wala pang high-tech noon eh. Pastor... Uh, Pastor Boyet, ano magandang laro na pwede mong i-suggest? Ay, ganun din yung sa akin. Siya atong din, ha? Uh, oh, hole, uh, marbles, okay. Wow. Sumpak. Ay, di ba? Nakakatama yun. Nakakatama yun. Oo. Oh, oh. Water gun. Water gun. Kaya lang. Yung lang sinasabi ano. po ni Ayun. Pastor, oh, oh. lalagyan mo ng uh, goma sa dulo tapos hihilahin niya ganun. Para, ito yung talagang ano, ito talagang classic na laro. Itayo mo yung kawayan na mataas. Nalagyan mo ng grasa, no? Opo. O, uh, ano? Palusebo. 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 Tapos yung price noon, ha? 100 pesos. Pwede. Ha? Eh, eh yan ang ano. Ay, meron bang baboy sa inyo? Big. Ah, yan. Maganda rin yan, ha? Nasa compound naman kayo, Opo. di ba? Opo. Maganda rin yan, no? Ah, Pastor Ban, ano nilalaro mo nung... 
Oh, ta- <laughs> tumbling. <laughs> Ta- nagtatumbling, ha? Ah, okay. Eh, eto kasi, in- itong, kung tatanungin natin si na Joshua, si na Hans, si na Obeg, si Patrick, Robin, ah, wala na yun. Yung laro ni na Pastor Ted, dahil senior citizen na siya, hindi na kami makapag-identify sa kanya. <laughs> Pastor Dennis, anong laro mo? Luksong baka. Luksong baka. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Trumpo. Trumpo, yan. Maganda yan, ha? Wow. That, that's good. Uh, wow. Uh, uh, ano, ano? Ba- Barbie si Hans. Hans. Bu- bu- buti na lang na born again ka. Dati ka pala X-Men, ha? Uh, Hans. Uh, anyway, uh, so, masaya. Wow. Uh, Lorena, ano naman ang uh, sa'yo bilang uh, nanay? Uh, ako po bilang nanay, ang talagang naging magandang effect ng lockdown is the uh, time for the family. Time for the family. Yeah, wow. kasi bilang isang working mom, yung pong work ko is Monday to Saturday. So, 8 to 5 yon, And then in the evening, may pupuntahan pa, ganyan. So, talagang uh, kulang na kulang yung oras ko sa mga anak ko. Yung bang wala akong one day na kami lang, na walang gagawin, na walang activities na hindi family-oriented, kumbaga. So, this lockdown talagang uh, natutukan ko sila. Naturuan ng mga chores. <laughs> uh, at yun nga, sabi nga nila, family is love. And love is spelled P-I-M-E, time. So, it is a uh, good time, good thing na nagkaroon ng time. Katulad nung mga po noon, di ba, meron pong ano yung government na papauwiin ng maaga ang mga empleyado para magkaroon ng meal time ang buong family. This time, hindi lang po isang meal na pa magkakasama ang family. Every now and then, kumakain kayo together. Ganun po kasayang ang nangyari Grabe. sa anong ito. Uh, my dear viewers, uh, i-focus mo nga sa akin. Ang daming mga suggestion no, na pag-usapan yung mga 80s, 90s na laro. Uh, I think, meron pala, ano, taguan. Ang gandua, taguan. At saka yung luksong tinik. Ano yung luksong tinik? Uh, luksong tinik. Uh, tapos ang sabi ng iba, ito, nilaro namin to piko, piko. Okay? Tapos yung Jack Stone. Yan, pang babae naman nito. Eh. Pero ako, nagla, naglalaro din ako nito. Magaling din ako nito. Eh, yung ang hindi ko alam, yung langit lupa. Langit lupa, impyerno. Ah, langit lupa, impyerno. Okay. A- a- ano yung Chinese Garden na sinasabi ng ating mga viewers? Ah, ang dami na ng mga suggestion, ah. A Chinese Garter, patas na pa... Oh, grabe. Tama mo, dahil sa lockdown na lumabas yung dating mga laru- laruan ng mga senior citizen, ng mga junior citizen. Wow! Kasi uh, nakakasawa din yung... Uh, moro-moro. Moro-moro din. Nakakasawa na rin kasi yung, uh, yung mga computer games, eh, no? Ha? At saka nakakasira ng mata. At di ka naarawan. Eto talagang papawisan ka dito. At... Sigurado pagka pinawisan ka, lalakas ang pagkain mo. Ha? Praise God. Oh, moro-moro. Anong sabi ni Pastor Royce? Moro-moro. Moro-moro. Ah, ano ba yung moro-moro? A grupo. Ah, at least ito, ah, lahat ay makapag-participate. No? Kasi yung nasa computer ka lang, talagang ah, ano yun, no? Jumping rope. Ah, alam ko yan. Jumping rope. Oh, rainbow rock. Alam mo yung rainbow rock, yung, uh, yung taas na tapos kung, kung, kung paano ka mag-bend ng katawan mo, no? Wow! Kurang-kurangan. Ah, ah, nagluluto, kurang-kurangan, okay? Wow! Ba, ngayon, ngayon lumitaw ang mga ganitong uh, mga laro. Wow! Dahil sa lockdown, my dear uh, viewers, Ah, uh, gawin po natin 'yan at masaya-masaya talaga 'yan, no? 
Uh, magandang bonding yan eh sa, sa family, no? Kasi yung mga bagong technology ngayon, walang bonding yun eh. Ha? Walang kasing uh, physical, uh, yung athleticism, social uh, games. Eh, ito talaga magandang ibalik natin ito. Sungka daw, ha? Tambubong. Ayun, tambubong. Ayan, ha? maganda yan, tambubong. Uh, eh, yung PT kang bayag. Eh, eh, paano kung wala kang bayag, ha? Hindi, <laughs> meron yan, no, kami. Ha? Talaga, PT kang bayag. <laughs> Mamamaga talaga. Talaga, uh, kami-kami mga lalaki, talaga katakot-takot ang, uh, ang uh, kansyawan diyan, no? Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> wow uh, la, Tayo po ay umawit muna Habang nag-iisip kayo na marami pang pwedeng uh, mga, uh, mga games Na pwede natin pag-usapan O oh, yung ko kopong-kopong Ano yung kopong-kopong? Hanapan ang kopong-kopong Wow Bahay-bahayan uh, Maganda yan, no? Tansan uh, Ano yung tansan? Pastor Ulysses Oh, Tansan. Okay. Wow. Ano, ano pa? Doktor, doktor, please help me. Laro pa. Pastor. Ano itong doktor, doktor? Kwak, kwak. Ah, kwak. Eh, yung kwek, kwek. Iba yata yan. Pagkain yung kwek, kwek. Eh, no? Wow. Bahay, bahayan. Kopong, kopong. Siatong. Touch the color. Ano yung touch the color na yan? Okay. Eh, yung uh, rundi prune. Ano yung Rondi Prune? <laughs> ha? Anita Beltran, ano yan? Donyas from Hong Kong. Ah, uh, Balug Balugbog. Ano ta? Piti ka Balugbog. Ah, masakit ito. Ha? Pick up sticks. Ano yan? Marami yan. All right. Rusip ah uh, run sip run. Ano yan? Oh, Rusip uh, ba marami uh, ba Marami mga mga laro-laro no no. Yun ang mga tinatawag natin ng kung wala kang technology, wala pang technology noon at wala kang uh, mabibili o wala kang pambili, eh, talagang innovation na lang no. Okay? Oh, Pastor Ted, anong uh, gusto mong paawit sa atin ngayon no? Uh, so, hallelujah. Thank you po sa mga viewers natin na nagpa-participate. Itaas na kamay Come on! At ito ay ikaw ay Kay Jesus ating Diyos Haring tunay Sumayaw, uminda Pag-awiting may gala Problema'y kalimutan Pagkat siya'y may kasagutan Banal niyang pangalan 
Talagang dapat palaging pinapapurihan natin si Lord kahit anong sitwasyon natin, no? Wow, ang dami pa po nag-suggest ng iba't ibang klaseng mga mga classic uh, games. Uh, ito, talagang pang, pang bonding ito, no? Pang uh, building up. Ito, sabi nila yung biba-biba. Ano yung biba-biba na to? Monopoly. Alam natin yan. Texting yan. Pick-pack-boom. Eh. Alam ko yan. Yang hindi ko alam yung Ron, Ron Siprun. Ano yung sabi ni Anita Beltran? Ron Siprun. And then, Kusugan. Ano ka? Kusugan? Ah, Kusugan. At ang isa sa mag maganda talaga, yung pull contact ngayon, boxing, no? Wrestling o kaya karate. <laughs> wow. I would like to shout out now sa Medical City Hospital from Clark. Si Char Macosta, okay? For sa lahat ng ating mga nanonood sa mga hospital dito sa Tarlac, no? Uh, CLDH, sa Provincial Hospital, sa Ramos Hospital, sa Talon Hospital, Ra Loving Mother uh, Hospital, and all these hospital, no? Tsaka yung mga, alam mo, marami tayong regular viewers sa, sa mga opisina, sa, uh, sa City Hall and uh, Provincial Capital, And of course, mayroon din tayong viewers. Alam niyo po ba, ang dami natin viewers sa mga checkpoint uh, dito sa Tarlac at uh, sa mga barangay hall sometimes. And of course, yung guest natin kahapon, yung Victory Uptown Market with loudspeaker. Si Resti at saka si Donya Pebs Umol. Grabe po. At uh, ang dami po natin mga viewers uh, uh, both here and abroad. Mabuhay kayo. Mga pastors na nanonood. Grabe. Thank you very much. Uh, grabe. At uh, mamaya marami tayong pagpipray dahil ang dami natin mga prayer concerns. No? Yung kapatid natin, kapatid natin si Cindy Sulit na nasa United Kingdom, nasa hospital. Uh, father ni Ate Jennifer uh, Lansang. No? Uh, si Tatay Oscar and other, many other people na may sakit. Uh, please, we, we We will pray uh, mamaya maya po, no? And believe God for supernatural miracle. At uh, kung meron kayong mga prayer concerns, mga requests, uh, pwede nyo pong i, i, uh, isulat po o kaya i-text. At uh, we will pray mamaya po, no? Okay, uh, Pastor Conrad, at nag-enjoy kami. Kay, ikaw, sa lahat ng amin maging, naging guest, eh, kailang pala na ganitong uh, naglaro sa labas, ha? Ah? at nilabas ang old classic uh, games uh, na hindi high-tech, high okay? Ngayon naman eh, paano kayo, ang nakaka-bless doon yung buong pamilya ay dumating ang pag ng Diyos, no? Sa malaking compound, sila magkakapatid at sila po ay nabahaginan at ngayon nag, nagbabible study, nagsa-cell group every night, okay? Ano naman ang ginawa mo ministry sa uh, uh, maliban sa family mo, uh, Pastor? Nauna lang po ang TFBC Live ng mga ilang araw mula nung nag-lockdown. Mula po nung nag-lockdown, uh, hindi po tumigil ang gawain sa TFBC Victoria dahil kinausap ko lahat ng mga leaders na magkaroon tayo ng uh, morning prayer every day. Hanggang ngayon po, uh, mayroon pa rin pong morning prayer. Kasi po naniniwala ako na baka Baka yung panalangin ng isang simpleng kapatid ang, ang gustong pakinggan ni Lord sa panahon ng lockdown. Baka yun, yung boses niya, yung tinig niya, ang gustong pakinggan ni Lord para mawala na talaga ang COVID-19 dito sa Pilipinas at sa buong mundo. So, yun po ang ginawa ko. Uh, nagkaroon po kami ng uh, morning prayer. Uh, hanggang ngayon po, online morning prayer po, hanggang ngayon po. At uh, uh, dahil... Miss na miss po namin ang aming mga kapatid sa Victoria. Nag-usap po kaming mag-asawa, pumasyal tayo doon. Kaya lang, kailangan ng, ano, kailangan ng uh, travel pass. So alam nyo po, kumuha po ako ng travel pass sa munisipyo sa Kamiling dahil sa Kamiling po kami nag-stay. Medyo malayo po. Uh, babiyahiin pa namin ng, from Kamiling to Tarlac, Tarlac to Victoria. 
Alam nyo po, hindi po, nagam, hindi po namin nagamit yung travel pass sa aming pagbebiyahe. Kapag may checkpoint po, ang sinasabi ko lang po, pupunta po ako sa church ko, sir. Pastor po ako, kako. Ang sagot po nila, ay sige-sige po, pastor. Sige-sige po, sir. Tuloy na po kayo, kapo nila. Kaya talaga pong napakabuti po ng ating Panginoon. Walang kahasel-hasel po sa biyahe po namin. Four times na po kaming pumunta sa Victoria mula po nung uh, nag-lockdown po. At kapag nandun na po kami, agad-agad po yung mga uhak ay talagang nagre-response. Totoo nga po yung sinabi ng Panginoon dito sa kanyang salita dito sa Book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 10 na ang sabi niya, maguguho ang mga bundok at ang mga burol ay mayayanig. Ngunit ang wagas na pag-ibig ko ay hindi maglalaho at mananatili ang kapayapaang aking ipinangako. Iyan ang sinasabi ni Yahweh na nagmamahal sa iyo. Alam niyo po, kahit nasa kamiling po kami, yung mga uwak po sa Victoria, pinapadala po doon. Malayo po, Bishop Ram. 17 plus 33, that is ano, 50, 50 kilometers. Yes, Bishop. Malayo wow, po. 50 kilometers. Yung uwak po sa, ano, yung uwak sa Victoria, meron siyang kaibigang uwak sa San Clemente. Eh malapit po ako doon. Ang sabi niya, Pastor, nasaan ka? Nandito ako sa kamiling ate. Paano ko kaya maibibigay yung aking ibibigay sa iyo? Sabi niya. Pagkatapos na lang po ng lockdown natin, Pastor, mabubulok ito. Masisira ito, kanya. So, alam niyo po, Pastor, meron akong kaibigan dyan sa San Clemente, kanya. Magkita kayo bukas ng hapon, alas 5. Ibibigay ko sa kanya yung para sa iyo para naman ma-enjoy ma ma nyo na ng buong oh, pamilya mo. So, alam niyo po, hindi la may, may karne, may... may may prutas. May pera. May peras. Peras, Bishop. Marami. Ah, marami kasi, ha. <laughs> peras. <laughs> marami. Meron. Peras, ha. So, aabangan mo na lang siya doon sa may highway doon hanggang sa nabalitaan ng isang kapatid na meron palang ganun. Pastor, meron din akong ipapadala sa'yo, sabi niya. Kaya lang, nung, nung time na hindi na siguro sila nagkikita nung kanyang kaibigan na uwak sa San Clemente, Bumalik, bumalik po kami ng Victoria, namamasyal po kami ng Victoria. Alam nyo po, parang, parang kami na po yung inilipad ng uwak from Kamiling to Victoria. Kasama pa yung sasakyan namin. Yung sasakyan namin, pinuno ng mga laman po. Grabe. Yun po ang uh, ginawa ng Panginoon. Hindi Tas, naman, di naman na plat. Hindi ba? naman po, ah, Bishop. Okay, okay. Ang maganda pa po doon, pagdating po namin doon, walang nakaset na magpapakain sa amin. Biglang nung nalaman nilang nandun kami, tatlo yung gustong magpalans po sa amin ng mga kapatid po. Grabe, no? Tapos ang sabi pa po nung isang kapatid, Pastor, pumunta Hallelujah. ka pala dito. Sa susunod na pumunta ka naman dito sa Victoria, pumasyal ka naman sa bahay. Alam nyo po, sa kalagitnaan po ng, ano, ng uh, lockdown, meron pang magrigalo, nagrigalo sa amin ng sitsu na aso. Grabe po. Inuwi po namin sa aming mga alak at tuwang-tuwa po sila. P pwedeng kainin yan. Baka, <laughs> baka naubusan na ng uh, pagkain. Pwede na nga ituloy ang sitsu. Ah. Ma masarap daw yan eh. Ah? I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nap Napakabuti po talaga ng Panginoon kasi prutas, gulay, pagkain. Sa iilang, sa iilang ibabahagi mo lang din sa kapwa mo, ang dami-dami pong kapalit na ibabalik wow. ng ating Panginoon. Nakapagbigay na rin po kami ng uh, konting tulong sa mga kapatid. Wow. Uh, kinausap ko po ang leadership ng church. Bumili tayo ng maraming munggo kasi sawa na sila sa mga canned goods. Wow. Uh, munggo, pang pamilya. Tapos pa maraming pansit, bigas, magbigay tayo, sabi ko po sa kanila. At lahat po sila ay masayang-masayang tumugon na uh, pumayag po sila sa gusto pong ipagawa sa amin ng Panginoon sa TFBC Victoria para sa mga kapatiran po. Grabe, no? Hindi pwedeng magutom ang mga lingkod ng Diyos. Amen. Yan pong ibig sabihin niya, no? Pero mo sina Brother June at Mel Valen, hanggang ngayon, hindi pa sila gumagastos. Ha? Dahil masisipag ang mga uwak at agila na nagpapadala ng pagkain at iba't ibang klase ng pagkain 
si Pastor Jay naman sa San Juan de Valdez. Pero naglabasan ang mga palaka, ang ahas, ang mga kamamaro at mga bayawak at pati iba't ibang klaseng ibon. Uh, uh, kay Pastor Joyce at saka kay uh, Pastor Robert, ano yung mga ano nila? Mga classic? Ha? Grabe. Uh, napakaganda po, napakabuti ng Diyos. Bukas, marinig natin ang isa sa mga satellite uh, pastors natin sa lapas naman, sa East, si Dr. Herson Tuliao at kung ano ang kanilang experience sa lockdown nito at anong klaseng uh, paano nila nakapag-minister sa mga membro doon sa La Paz. Wow, we are excited for that. Grabe po. Uh, this time, uh, thank you very much, Pastor uh, Conrad. Uh, we will pray muna. Ang dami po mga requests, no? Sa mga kapatid na mga may sakit. Uh, alam nyo, sabi na 105 ng Book of Psalms, verse 20, God will, God sent forth His word and He healed them, no? Uh, maganda siguro, uh, awitin natin yung I am the Lord that healed thee and uh, while we are uh, preparing uh, si Oscar Lansang uh, uh, father po ni Janet at Jennifer uh, sila po ay may stage 3 uh, lung cancer yata uh, wala imposible kay Lord uh, uh, the love of the, pair, of the children sa kanilang father will uh, and the love of God will heal them, no? Si Ate Cindy, na nasa hospital sa, doon sa London, siya po ay may sakit. Well, let's pray for, for her, no? At uh, sino pang alam niyo mga may sakit? Si Ate Erna, one of our primary 12 ng aking missis, ay uh, mataas po daw ang uric acid. Kaya pag-pray po natin, no? Si uh, Edalyn Del Pilar, ha? Uh, Dr. Matthew Thomas is in Dubai International Medicine Specialist Frontliner. Pag-pray po natin. Si Ati Erna, uric acid po. Uh, uh, mataas daw. Uh, uh, baka meron pa kayong kilalang mga may sakit at karamdaman. Just join us, no? We will sing this. Uh, let us believe God. Ang uh, mga sulit uh, sisters, uh, we... They called me last night and we prayed for Sister Cindy, no? So please, uh, just join us and let us agree together. Uh, ang sabi po ng Matthew 18 verse 19, If two of you agree, ang ganda po, If two of you agree as touching anything that you will ask for, it shall be done by my Father which is in heaven. Yung, yung, ang, ang, napakalaga po ng power of agreement. Okay? Let us agree together, no? And let us believe God for supernatural miracle at walang imposible kay Lord. Uh, kaya sabi niya, call unto me and I will answer you and I'll show great and mighty things which thou knowest, knowest not. And then uh, sabi ni Lord, I am the Lord that healed thee. Exodus 15 verse 21. So wala pong imposible kay Lord. At uh, uh, napakabuti po ng Diyos. He is our Jehovah. Rofi, the God, who is our healer. I am the Lord who heals you. We'll sing this song and then, and later on, uh, we will pray sa lahat ng mga may sakit. And let us believe, kung kayo po ay may sakit, mga kapatid na kaibigan matalik ng tatay ko, si Mang G at ati uh, uh, Beverly ay may sakit po, no? Nagda-dialysis, may sakit sa puso. Let's pray for them, no? Uh, Ang dami po na dapat natin ipag-pray Mahal natin sa buhay. Let us believe God at sa Kanya ay walang imposible. Uh, nandito kami sa studio, nandiyan kayo sa bahay nyo, uh, God, because of the power of agreement of our faith in God, uh, God will heal you. Not, the, the, not just uh, touch you, but He will heal you. No? He, he can restore your health. Hallelujah. Psalm 105, inuulit ko, verse 20, God will send forth His word and He will heal you. Okay, let's sing this song. The Lord is our Jehovah Rope. He is the God that healed us. Come on. I am the Lord that healed thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word. I 
Let us agree together. There is power in agreement. Oh Lord God. Ngayon po Lord, tinataas namin na lahat ng mga kapatid, mga magulang, mga kapatid na may sakit, oh Lord. Lord, we lift up to you si Oscar Lansang, Lord. We lift up to you si Ati Cindy Sulit, Lord. We lift up to you Ati Erna, Lord. We lift up everyone, no, may, mga may sakit, Lord, si Mang G at Ati Burley, Lord, and all the people who are sick, lahat ng mga viewers na may membro sa pamilya na may sakit, Lord, you said that by your stripes, by your stripes, we are healed dahil sa mga latay, Lord, dahil sa mga latay kami gumaling, Lord, so speak healing and declare healing sa mga may sakit, Lord. Stretch forth your mighty hand, Lord, and heal them, Lord. Send forth your word wherever they are and heal them, Lord. Lord God, you are a miracle worker. You are a way maker, Lord. You are our Jehovah Rofi, the God who heals, Lord. Thank you for healing your people. Thank you for healing them, Lord. Ano mga klaseng sakit at karamdaman, Lord, tunawin nyo Tupukin mo sa makapangyarihan pangalan ni Jesus And I will cast out the spirit of sickness The spirit of infirmities in their lives, Lord Cancer, Lord uh, Blood pressure, Lord uh, Sakit sa puso, Lord Sakit sa uric acid, Lord Ano mang sakit yan in Jesus' name We bind you by the authority of the name of Jesus And by the power of the blood of the Lamb And we cast you out Go to hell where Jesus sent you and now, Lord Jesus, now, Lord Jesus, we release your healing upon your people. Heal them, Lord. Thank you that they are healed. They are healed in Jesus' name. They are healed in Jesus' name. They are healed in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, thank you for the miraculous healing, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you for sending forth your word. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your peace. Shalom. Shalom be upon their body, Lord. Shalom be upon their body. They are healthy and strong now, Lord. They are healed in Jesus' name. They are healed in Jesus' name. They are healed in Jesus' name. Thank you for the power of the blood. Thank you for the power of the name of Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise. We declare you, Lord, over their sickness. We declare you, Lord, over their sickness. Hallelujah. Your name is above all names, Lord. Not sickness, but the name of Jesus, who is above all names. Now glorify your name, Lord. 
by healing these people, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. And everyone would say, Amen. Hallelujah. Grab is the Lord. Siya ang nagpapagaling. Praise God. Let us celebrate your supernatural healing. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. My son Joshua will give the word this morning. Yesterday, it was given by Pastor Banjo. It was a very powerful word. Wow. Uh, heeding to the instruction of God. Uh, yan po, message si Pastor Banjo. Grabe po ang uh, kamanghamahang pagkilos ng Diyos. Pagka tayo po ay nakikinig at handang sumunod. Hindi lang nakikinig, kundi handang sumunod sa mga pangako ng Diyos. And then you will experience just like uh, Joshua and the Israelites over Jericho. Just like Jehoshaphat over the three powerful kingdoms. Uh, just like the two widows because they followed and listened and obeyed the instructions of God. And just like Peter, when, God, when Jesus say, said, uh, uh, put it into the dip, no? Ihulog mo ang iyong lambat sa may kailaliman. And he obeyed kahit na nag-struggle siya. But still, he, dahil, sabi, dahil sa sinabi mo, Lord, ihulog ko, then boom, supernatural. Napakalaga po na tayo nakikinig at hindi lang nakikinig, kundi tuwang-tuwang sumusunod sa mga uh, sinasabi ng Diyos. Uh, talagang hindi po sasablay. That was very powerful message, Pastor Banjo. And now, my son Joshua will give the message. Uh, last week, sabi niya, Dad, I want to share a word. It's burning inside of me. So, this time, Joshua will share the word. Let's welcome Joshua Paul Santos as he shared the word of God. Good morning po. Isa na naman pong high level. Morning po sa inyong lahat. Good morning po. Namiss ko po kayong lahat. Grabe, grabe, grabe. Ay, nako. Kakarug, uh, kumakabog ang aking puso. Anyway, grabe. God is good. Talagang kanina po nung kumakanta po sila, I am the God that healeth thee. You know, sometimes we just pray for God for, for healing in, in our sickness. But one of my prayers also is not only to heal our sickness, but to heal also our brokenness. Yes. You know, you know, God does not only heal, you know, ano mga karamdaman natin sa buhay, kung may, kung may ubo ka, kung may lagnat ka, pero, you know, the greatest thing that God can heal is the brokenness of our lives, our disparity. Only, I always tell people that only God can heal the sickness of this world. There is a sickness in, the, in this world that no one can address. You know, humanity can only heal some parts of the sickness of this world, but only God can fully heal the sickness of this world. There is a sickness in this world that only God can address, mga kapatid. That's why no matter what, people can, people can disown God, but you know, you can never really, really say that you don't need God. Especially these times, mga kapatid. You know, I always say po sa mga aking mga nakakausap, if there is, there is one thing that this situation or this season has proven to us, it only proved that in all the modernity of people, in all the knowledge that he has gained through history, in all the greatness of all government, and how people see how great they are, surely God showed in this season that He is the boss. Sabi ko nga po kila Patrick, sabi ko ngayon, I have just four words that I can claim and I have learned through this season. And that four words is, all hail the King. The King showed who's boss over this world. There's no government, government, no matter how powerless kayo na first world, second world, or third world gaman ng bansa mo, pinakita lang, isa lang ang pinatunayan ng Diyos sa mga panahon na to. Siya nangingibabaw. All hail the King. Every nation and every knee should bow. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Diba? Grabe. I always say to myself, how, how can something so, so little... So microscopic becomes so powerful over people and render nations useless. 
But only God can stand above everything. No matter how little and no matter how big, God is Lord over them. Amen? Grabe po. Kung nakamapansin nyo po, there is a meltdown in leadership. Kahit na wala po talagang perfect leadership. If you will compare all the leaders, you can only find imperfection all around. Mapakay Donald Trump man yan, mapakay Duterte man po yan. Magre-reklamo at magre tayo. Why? We can always find imperfection. But is there, perfection can only be found in Christ. We must realize that, mga kapatid. Kaya nga po ang aking message, when I was asking what could I share, Lord, what is your message to me? And that is the importance of relationship during times like this. Napaka-importante po. Relationship, it's so important during times like this. Why? Because relationship, it's precious. It can strengthen us or it can ruin us. Napaka-importante po nun. Even in my, between me and my father, what is precious between me and my father? Is it his position? Is it the riches that he has? What, what does everybody have in sickness and in health? In times of trouble and times of blessing, it's one thing, relationship. Amen? Why, why do we pursue success for? Why do, what, would, what do we hope to gain in education, in knowledge, in an understanding? Kahit nasabihin mo nang hindi ka makadiyos, yun lamang gusto mo, ma-follow ma- ma- ka ng mga tao. Nung minsan lang, hinuli lang po kahapon, yung isang teacher na sabi niya, bibigay siya ng 500 million pesos. Para papatay si Duterte. For what? What is he, what is he, is he thirsty for? Because wala, walang, walang nagpa-friend sa kanya. Wala nagpa-follow sa kanya. He's thirsty for relationship. He's thirsty for attention. Why? No matter if you don't love Jesus or you don't give anything about Jesus, you are thirsty for relationship. Relationship is important to you. Even to the atheists, relationship is important to them. That's why the importance of relationship at times like this, it's so crucial. Amen? Kaya nga po, nung nandun po kami sa Israel, you know, uh, hindi po namin, hindi, uh, ang akala po ng mga tao, what we learned in Israel is we learn how to be better people. We learn how to be corrective people. You know, uh, nung nag po ako last year sa Israel, what I learned is how sinful I am. And what I learned in Israel is how beautiful our God is that no matter how sinful, how un- nobody will want me as a person. People will give up on me. People will always give up on people. If you will find perfection in people, then everybody will just give up on everybody. But you know, in, 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 even in our imperfection, although there is not, nothing lovable, nobody can even love. Alam mo yun, sabi ko, sabi ko nga po sa mga tao, you know, only Jesus can love somebody that even us, we cannot love. Those people that we will give up on, He will never give up on. Hindi mo kayang mahalin ng rapist, hindi mo kayang mahalin isang taong mamamatay tao, pero si Lord kaya niya. And that is what is beautiful about Jesus. Is he never give up on anybody. People will always give up on people, but God will never give up. Even to the most hopeful or hopeless of lives, God will always find hope in any life. As long as there is life, there is hope in His eyes. Amen? Kaya nga, ang ganda po eh. Uh, you know po, dun sa book po ng Ezekiel, you know, even in the... There are, there are so many moments in history that you can find in the Bible that man broke the heart of God. But God is so, you know, relentless. He never gives up on a relationship. He always fights for relationship. Nakakalungkot man po, ulit-ulit po sa Bible, you find that man always are more attached to objects. They are more attached to, e- they are more attached to image and yet He never gives up on them. Nakakalungkot. Pero sa Ezekiel po, even though, you know, ito po ang gusto pong sabihin, ha? God does not punish us. If you, ang, ang, ang masakit po kasi na tinuturo ng mga tao that God is a God of punishment. No, He is a God of love. Is it in the intention of God to punish us or to love us? What would He choose better? 
It's always love. Kung papansin niyo, nangingibabaw po palagi po ang pag-ibig ng Diyos, hindi po ang kaparusahan na gusto po ibigay ng ano. You know, we condemn ourselves, we punish ourselves because of the decisions and the choices that we make. It is not, God, it is not God's choice to punish us. He, it is His choice is to love us, but we make the decision. The consequences of our choices and decisions lead us to destruction, not God's choice. Pero po dito si Ezekiel, na alam niyo po, ang maganda po ito eh. Um, na, ito po yung natutunan namin ni Bishop that people are always concerned about building temples, but God is so concerned in building His temple in us. Constructing a relationship in us. Kaya nga sabi po si Ezekiel 11 verse 16, sabi niya, Therefore I say, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, Although I have sent them far away among the nations and scattered them among the countries, yet for a little while I have been a sanctuary for them in the countries where they have gone. You know, even it breaks God's heart when because of our choices and decisions, God is powerless because of our actions. We punish ourselves. Nakakalungkot po na exile po ang Israel dahil po sa kanilang rebelliousness and sins. And yet, even though God is powerless, God is a God of justice. He ma you know, justice must be seen, said, and done. It must be fulfilled. You, we reap what we saw. And yet, even in the midst of our exile, kahit nandun tayo sa kalagitnaan ng ating punishment, sabi niya dito, I am with you. I have made my sanctuary. Wala man kayo sa templo dun sa Jerusalem, but I have made my temple inside of you. Grabe po. Kaya nga po, napaka-importante po na, how, ito po ang palaging mga sinasabi ng mga tao ngayon, how do we move forward into the new normal? Ngayon, tanongin din po natin, meron po bang new normal para kay Lord? No. Everything is just normal to God. There is, sabi nga po ni Pastor J, J di ba, wala pong crisis sa lingwayan ng Lord. Amen? The question is, who do we move forward with? That is the great question. Who do we move forward with? Kaya kung papansin ninyo po sa book ni Joshua, napakagandawa po po na sinabi ni Joshua, you know, it is very, very, it is a very, very depressing time para kay Joshua. Joshua lost his leader. Joshua lost his mentor. The man that gave meaning and vision in his life. Just imagine Joshua, noong times po na nandun pa po siya sa Egypt, he is just a slave, but what broke his slave mentality was a leader. And then he just lost his leader. Pero alam nyo mga maganda mga kapatid, when you lose your earthly leader, God's Heaven, heavenly leadership will always take place. The, the greatest comfort, alam niyo mga kapatid, the greatest assurance that God can give us, it's not His promises. Maganda ang mga pangako ng Diyos, pero ang pinakamagandang assurance na pwedeng ibigay sa atin ng Diyos ay ang sarili niya. People are always in pursuit of what God can offer and what God can give. But you know, the greatest thing that we can have is Him Himself. Diba? It is so, it's so flattering that God will send these angels concerning you. But when the great shepherd Himself is concerned about you, that is more powerful, mga kapatid. When the King of kings and the Lord of lords stands from His thrones and celebrates with His saints. Pag napatayo mo yung hari at napababa mo, no matter what the situation is, no matter how the fur, how how hot the furnace is, as long as God makes His dwelling with His people, it doesn't matter. It's heaven on earth. Napaka-importante po makita yun, mga kapatid. Kaya nga, in the midst na ng kanyang, kanyang, ano, kanyang pagluluksa si Joshua, you know the greatest promise that God gave to him, the greatest comfort. Biri mo, wala mo, hindi, hindi, Sino mo? Buong Israel, hindi nila masabi na condolence, kasama mo kami. But God Himself gave the greatest assurance to Joshua. Hey Josh, Moses is not with you. These people, they may rebel and they may not be with you. Sabi niya, but 
be strong and take courage. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. What a great promise. Kahit na, kahit na maiwan na ang buong disyerto, ang buong Israelita sa disyerto, kahit na si Joshua lang, tsaka si Caleb ang mar march forward at tumawid sa Jordan, kahit lang si Joshua at si Caleb lang ang umarap sa Jericho, ang importante ay sinong kasama nila. Amen? Because if God is marching for us, who can be against us? Amen? That's why he, 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 he truly encouraged him over and over again. Alam nyo po, wala pa po talaga ang strong word na faith po sa Old Testament. But you can read it over and over again that God's assurance, be strong and courageous. I always say to them, what is faith really? Kung titignan mo talaga ano ba ang faith, ito ay katapangan eh. Pero para sa akin ang faith, ang katapangan na lalagpas pa sa katapangan eh. Lalagpas pa dun. May mga taong matatapang. Matapang ka pag umakit ka ng puno. Matapang ka kapag tatalong ka dun sa, ano, magmula sa mataas na, ano, na 10 feet na cliff, tapos tatayong ka sa dagat. Katapangan yun eh. Pero alam mo, ang katapangan, yung kapag may nasusunog na bahay, habang lahat ng mga tao dun ay nakatayo, Hindi ka man nag-iisip pero bigla ka na lang napatakbo doon sa loob ng bahay na yun para magligtas sa mga buhay. May katapangan na sosobra pa ka sa katapangan. May, you know, you know, faith, it goes beyond logic. It goes beyond the sanity of people. It goes beyond calculations of reasoning. Ito ang pumapasok na... Sasabihin ko sa asawa ko, I trust you, my loves. But you know, when we say that to God, it goes beyond the, re the, the, the language of this world. Kaya mo ba natin talaga magtiwala sa Diyos, mga kapatid? Palagi ko sinasabi, baka mamaya nabibless lang tayo kaya nasabi natin, You know, Lord, I have faith in you. I love you. I always tell to people that we must be careful what we say to God. Why? Because everything that we say, God will test. If you say, I love you to God, God will test that. It's easy to say, sabi niya, sasabi niya, Josh, it's easy to say to me that I love you. But if I would test you that whatever you declared, would you still love me? It's so hard. Lord, I have faith in you. Tapos ibibigyan ka tayo ng sitwasyon na ganito ni Lord. Mapapatunayan ba natin ng faith natin sa Kanya? How how can you say that that I have faith in you? Paano kung kukunin ko yung tatay mo, Josh? Do you still have faith in me? Paano kung mawawala kukunin ko ang buong pamilya mo? What if I remove every comfort in your lives? Could you still declare that I love you? Could you still declare that I have faith in you? It is is your faith and love a matter of your mouth or is it a matter of your heart? Grabe po. And sometimes, ang dali, ang dali lang sabihin sa tatay ko na I love you, but sometimes I break my father's heart. And it's also breaking for me because whatever I say, sometimes I fall short of performing it. And I realize, you know, there are, there, it's easy to say that I'm a Christian, but to live and act as one, that is the challenge, mga kapatid. Diba? In times like this, you know, our lives, the actions of our lives, it, it is what is what matters. Kaya napakaganda po ng mga pointers na binigay ni, ni Joshua, ay ni Lord kay Joshua. Sasabihin niya, you know, what is normal for you, Joshua, is to be a slave in Egypt. But I'm moving you to a new normal. You might not understand the process. It may take you 40 years in the desert, but I'm testing. I'm testing you. Would you survive the test? God, we are, mga kapatid, we are in the middle of a test. Ngayon, mga kapatid, tinanong ko kay Robin eh. Nung nag-exam ka, Robin, sa board exam, alam mo ba kung papasa ka o hindi? Ah, sabi, sabi ni Robin, Oh, kuya, alam ko papasa ako. Bakit bin? Kasi kuya, alam ko handa ako eh. 
The question is, mga kapatid, during our exams right now, how are we doing so far? Alam mo bang papasa ka? O ano? Nasaan tayo ngayon? Check our lives. That is also my that is also my question to me, Lord, in this situation that you are testing me in, how am I doing so far, Lord? In my relationship with others, in my relationship to my father and my mother, in my relationship to my brothers and sisters, in my relationship to you, how am I so far? Because at the end of the race, the exam shall be checked. And the teacher might say, well done, my good and faithful servant. How did I do so far at this point? Kaya napakaganda po na bago binibigyan tayo ng exam ni Lord, binibigyan tayo ng pointers to review ni Lord. Napakaganda po eh. Sabi niya ganyan, talagang, talagang, ang maganda po kasi sa teacher, hindi po siya dictator. A teacher is a good director and a teacher is a great instructor. They give good instructions. Kaya nga sabi niya, be strong and be very courageous. Pointers to review, sabi niya. Obey the law that I gave my servant Moses. Do not turn from it from the right and to the left. That you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. When you keep it on your lips, then you meditate it in your heart. Let it marinate in your life, in your heart, and in your soul, and in your mind. Do not turn from it from the right of the left. Grabe. So that you, you may be careful to do everything that is written in it. Be careful. Then you will be prosperous and successful. And then inulit niya, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And then God gave us the greatest assurance that He can give mankind. Because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you will go. Ako po, yun ang pinakamasarap na pangako ng Diyos sa akin ay hindi yung pagpapalain niya ako, kundi palagi niya akong kasama. Even in the Great Commission, sabi niya ganyan, Go! To all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And when you do that, I will be with you always, even in the end of times. That is the greatest assurance that when we obey, He is with us. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in one. Wherever I go, that is the greatest thing about Psalm 23. Is the companionship of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Diba? Kaya nga, kung papansin niyo po, we design, we choose, and we build the relationships in our lives. I just want to note Matthew 7, 24 to 27. God noted the wise and foolish builder. Kaya nga, sinabi ko po sa shoutout dati, does this situation build us or ruin us? Ito pong past na two months ang ating pag-lockdown po. Has this built us or ruined us as a person? Let's check ourselves. Amen? Why? Because we can choose the materials that we can build ourselves, mga kapatid. We design our lives. We design the relationship, the power of our choice and decisions. Di ba? We construct it. We cannot base our love to God by how others built it in us. We have that choice. We have that decision. Diba? Bishop Frank can offer us na uh, we, he can suggest that we can have a relationship with God but the decision and the choice rests in us. Mga kapatid, nasa atin yan. Amen? The, the relationships that we have, we can choose to, to be bitter about our relationship with others or we can choose to be better. It is our choice and our decisions, mga kapatid. To live a life of hurt or to live a life of love. That is not up to our neighbor. It is up to us. Diba? That, that, that's why we can be a wise or we can be the latter builder. It is our choice who to be among those two. Amen? And tandaan nyo po, 
if we can choose to design, to build, and our choice of materials to build our lives, and tandaan nyo po, everything that we build, it shall be tested. It shall be tested, mga kapatid. The rain will come. Why? Why does God test us? Kasi dun po kasi talaga lumalabas kung ano yung peke at totoo. Pagdating po sa testing. Eh. Alam nyo po, lahat po ng mga bagay sa mundong ito, meron pong tawag na quality control or product testing. Wala pong bagay na hindi binebenta po sa mundong ito na hindi po dumata, dumaan sa testing. Bakit po? Kasi ko pag binenta po nila isang sira na, bangi, na gamit, masisira po ang pangalan. Masisira, masisira po ang brand. Kung binentaan po kayo ng Apple ng sirang iPhone, masisira po ang pangalan po nila. Alam nyo po, ang mga, alam nyo po kahit po tayo mga tao, susubukan at susubukan po tayo. Bakit? Kasi gagamitin po ng Diyos balang araw ang ating buhay para magbigay ng pugay sa kanyang pangalan. Amen? We, we shall undergo the test because someday we will give an accounting and a testimony that will glorify His name. Kaya masusubukan po talaga tayo mga kapatid. ba? Diba? Kaya nga sabi po sa Bible, ba? Diba? Sabi niya, yung take joy <laughs> in, ano, in perseverance. Grabe po, di ba? Count it all joy. Bro, mo, bakit ka mag enjoy Wala na nga ako makain, mag enjoy pa ako. Di ba? Hirap na hirap na nga ako, mag enjoy pa ako, mga kapatid. It's all about attitude. It's all about attitude and character. That is what is being tested, di ba? Napaka-importante po. And then I just want to point this, Bishop, because this is really, really powerful in my heart. When I read this, it really sumapok po sa akin eh. Nasa Hagay 1, 7 to 11. And this is a very, very powerful verse, mga kapatid. Actually, it's one of the most powerful verses that I keep close to my heart. Ang sabi po sa Hagay 1, 7 to 11, sabi niya, Give careful thought to your ways. Give careful thought to your ways. You know, in these times, there's so much to complain about. If you will, if I am looking at my Facebook po, there are so many things to complain about. The leadership, the actions of leadership, the situations at hand, diba? the performance of our neighbor in these times. But God's instruction to us is to be, give careful thought to our ways. Tapos ang ganda po sabi niya, Go up into the mountains, bring down the timber, and build my house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You expected much, but see, it turned out to be little. What you, brew, you, what you brought home, I blew away. Why, declares the Lord Almighty, because of my house, which remains a ruin. While each of you is busy with your own house, therefore because of you, sabi niya, because of you, Josh, the heavens have withheld their dew and the earth its crops. I called for a drought on the fields and the mountains, on the grain, the new wine, the olive oil, and everything else the ground produces, on people and livestock, and all the labor of your hands. Mga kapatid, kaya nga sabi ko, the power of our choices and the power of decisions. Sometimes, you know, we are so focused to ourselves or building ourselves about, about uh, my success. This is a lesson for me to God. Sometimes, Josh, why do you give your tithes in offering? Because you expect what I can give in return. Do you give your 10% because you, you are expecting what, you can off, what I can offer back? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing the ministry, Josh? Is it to build your image or to build my image in the hearts of people? Give careful thought to your ways. 
Maybe you're so busy in building your image. Maybe you're so busy in building yourself. That you have sidelined building my temple in your life. And it hurt me. Sabi ko, Lord, oo nga po ako. That's why napakaganda po ng reminder niya, give careful thought to your ways. Lord, yes, Lord, sabi ko. And sometimes po kasi I'm, minsan I'm being blinded or blindsided what I, what, what I am doing for Him. That sometimes I don't hear the direction and the instruction of my King. What does He want me to do at this time? Because I was born at such a time as, as this. Kaya nga, the power of our choices and decisions I just want you in closing poem, just want you to bring you in the scenario of Matthew 8, 23 to 27. When Jesus calmed the storm. Ang pinaka point ko po doon, mga kapatid, it's not about the storm. It's about who is with you during the storm. You know, the disciples, when they crossed the Sea of Galilee during this uh, situation, They just came up from a very, 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 very powerful mentoring. A very, very powerful and historical ma- mentoring ni Jesus Christ. From the Beatitudes all the way down to instructional living na bigay po sa kanila. But when it came to testing, it all fell down. Why? Because they forgot who is with them. It's all about who is with you, mga kapatid. It's not about what you see and what is in front of you. It is not what we're, un- we're going through. Yes, alam niyo mga kapatid, isang araw sabi niya, do not, uh, nung nag-shutdown po yung ABS-CBN, ang ganda po ng sinabi na assurance po ni Lord sa akin, sabi niya, do not let the situations in life rule your emotions. Never, never allow the situation to rule your emotion. Let God, the king of this world, the king of all, the king of all situations, no matter what the situation, you know, even in storms, remember, God is Lord over the storm. Kaya habang kumakanta po sila, Pastor Dandan kanina, it's always no. Tandaan niyo po yung kanta, di ba? When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. And I will be still and know. Be still, mga kapatid. And know who your God is. Amen. So, thank you for the honor and privilege of sharing the word of God. All honor and glory to his name. All hail the King. Purify my heart. Let me be as gold and precious silver, purify my heart. Let me be as gold, pure gold, refiner's Wow.
Pwede na po akong mag-retire. Ang gagaling po ng mga preacher dito, si Pastor Banjo, si Pastor Joshua, hindi pa narinig si Pastor Dandan, mag na po ang mga yan. Si Pastor Boyat, si Pastor Dennis, Pastor Ted. So, uh, kung magre-resume ang ating uh, Sunday services, isang best lang ako mag-preach. Pero kung hindi na natin, hindi tayo mag-gather, six times kayo makarinig ng mga messages. <laughs> Gusto nyo ng once a week na message or six times na powerful messages from different anointed preachers plus these testimonies. Well, uh, ako po, I really like to stay uh, at home. Ayaw natin kumalat at naging sanhi ng uh, pag-spread ng coronavirus at ayaw din ako ma mahawa na coronavirus uh, I want to uh, to prevent and to, to if we could stay at home and enjoy our family uh, si Noah 40 days and 40 nights ng ulan plus 150 days ng paglalayag ng arko no that's uh, 100 uh, 90 days, almost 200 days lockdown, complete and total, absolute lockdown. Nagkulang ba sila sa pagkain? Hindi po. Uh, the Lord provided everything, no? Uh, kaya kayo po na na-init na, init na sana lumaya na kayo, no? At uh, yung dating gawi, uh, hindi na natin pwedeng gawin yan. Kaya they call it the new normal. By the way, thank you very much, Josh, sa message. Uh, it's about uh, building a strong relationship with God. Lalo na itong lockdown na to, no? Uh, not just, kasi if we have a very strong relationship with God, uh, automatic na po yan eh. Kakaroon ng strong relationship with the members of the family. So when crisis comes, when the testing of our faith comes, uh, makikita natin kung sino ang nakatayo pa, no? Napakahalaga po na, na tayo po ay, we know whom we believe, di ba? Kaya sabi ng Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, Those who know, who knows their God, they are firmly established. They are unsick, unsakeable. Ha? Kahit na gano'ng katindi ng pagsubok, ah, hindi ka may buwal niyan. Kagaya ng Matthew chapter 7, verses 23 to 27, no? Dumating ang matinding uh, hangin at uh, bumuhos ang ulan, bumaha at niyanig ng, ng uh, matinding pagsubok ang bahay na yon. Ang tanong eh, mananatili bang nakatayo or makagilagilala sa uh, pagkukolaps, uh, pagkagiba? No? Uh, it's all about the foundation, uh, the foundation on solid rock or the sand. And of course, the foundation is about hearing and practicing what you hear. Hindi yung you hear and then labas na lang, binabaliwala. And you are on a very, very shaky foundation. But if you hear, you are excited to hear the word of God. You are excited sa salita ng Diyos. And you are so excited to practice it, no? Uh, not just to give so that you can get, but you are so excited to honor the Lord, what is holy unto Him, so excited, so cheerful. As I said in the Bible, God loves a cheerful giver. Kasi mayroon po nagbibigay for the sake of giving, no? But ang distinction yung cheerful giving. At hindi lang cheerful giving, giving in faith, no? In love. Kaya yun po ang pagkakaiba. Kaya building relationship 
and in companionship with God, building the sanctuary of God in us, and darating, darating ang unos o bagyo sa buhay. So don't focus on the storm, but focus kung sino ba talaga ang kasama mo sa matinding uh, bagyo. No? Pag uh, kilala mo kung sino kasama mo, alay, eh, hindi ka po uh, mayayanig at ono matitinag man. And bottom line, before we'll pray, it's about the presence of God. Uh, not just the promises of God, but above all else, sino ba ang nangako? We have the promises of God in our hands. Some of you, it's already in your head. Some of you, not only in your hands, not only in your head, you are not content, but now it is in your heart. So, uh, matindi ang pangako ng Diyos. Ang tinatayuan ng Diyos eh, yung pinangako, yung nangako, yung pangako. Sabi nga, mahalagang pangako niya, pero ang tanong, sino ang nangako? Okay? Hawak natin ang pangako niya, pero higit sa lahat, hawak tayo ng nangako. Sana makita niyo yun, no? Hawak natin ang pinangako niya o pangako niya, pero yung nangako, hawak tayo. Kaya in the midst of storm, because you know Him who holds your future, who holds your life. That's why the righteous, the Bible says, are not, will never be shaken. The righteous will never be shaken. Why? They know whom they have believed. Diba? And they are holding forth the promises of God. And the promise of God is uh, talagang hawak sila at yung nangako po. Kaya, the presence of God and the promises of God. Ah, matindi po yan, no? Okay, uh, tayo po ay mag-pray and then we'll give you the announcement. Okay, uh, let's pray. I know uh, ang dami-dami pong mga pangangailangan at kahilingan nyo as a family, lahat ng mga viewers. At uh, ang iba sa inyo, dumada ng matinding pagsubok. Praise God, magalak kayo, Okay. Dahil pagkatapos ang pagsubok na yan, eh, pagpapapala, pagpapala. Hindi lang pagpapala material, financial, kundi yung pagpapala na tumita, tumibay, uh, lumakas ang iyong pananampalataya at nakilala nyo kung anong klaseng Diyos na sumama sa iyo sa pagsubok na yan. No? Yan po ang matinding pagpapala. Okay? Uh, tandaan nyo, hindi tayo bibigyan ng Diyos, sabi ng Romans 10.11, uh, 10.13, na hindi tayo bibigyan ng pagsubok ng Diyos hindi natin makayana, hindi sa distant Diyos. Kung sakaling malapit na tayong bumigay, ah, nandiyan ang Diyos, aalalay sa atin. And we'll provide a way of escape. In other words, you can overcome. Kahit anong klaseng pagsubok na dadaan sa iyo, you can overcome. Bakit? Kasangga mo si Lord eh. Kasama mo si Lord. Okay, come on, let's pray and let us thank God that He is with us in the midst of storm. Is Lord over the floods. Lord, salamat po sa lahat ng aming mga viewers na nagtitiwala, na masayang nagsasamba, nagpupuri, at nagtatapat at nag obey sa inyo. Kaya hindi nyo sila bibitawan, Lord, sa gitna ng pagsubok, lalo mong padadama sa kanila na nandyan ka at nararandaman lang, hindi lang nila nararandaman nakikita kung talagang nararanasan nila ang kapangyarihan mo, ang kadakilahan mo, ang kabutihan mo, Panginoon. Salamat po sa lahat ng aming mga viewers, anuman ang kanilang pangangailangan, kayang kaya mong tugunan, Panginoon, dahil sa inyo ay walang imposible. At ang sabi niyo, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord will be saved, and they will never be put to shame to those who put their trust in you. Salamat po, Panginoon, na sapat-sapat na yan sa amin para kami po ay mapanatag ang puso dahil alam namin na hindi nyo kami bibitawan. We will surely overcome and we are not survivors, we are more than conquerors because the one who won 2,000 years ago sa cross ng Kalbaryo he was the victorious champion. That's why we are victorious. We are triumph, 
triumphant and overcomers. Lord, we thank you sa katiyakan na kasangga namin kayo at sa tindi ng coronavirus na to, Lord, malalampasan po natin ito. Salamat po sa mga frontliners namin, patuloy namin tinataas sa inyo, sa mga, mga medical workers, Lord, uh, nasa hospital, nasa mga butika, parmasya, nasa checkpoint, mga frontliners na ito, Panginoon, nasa mga government officials namin. Lord, we are so grateful, mga kasundaluhan, uh, mga kapulisan, we are so grateful, Lord, na sabik na sabik na nila makasama ang kanilang mahal sa buhay para lang siguraduhan kami po na naka-lockdown sa bahay ay hindi po maapektuhan at hindi mag-spread ang virus. Thank you for their sacrifices. Thank you for their heroism, Lord. And thank you for their courage to face the challenges, this crisis, Lord, to keep us safe and sound, Lord. We are grateful sa mga mga bayaning ito, Panginoon, matatapang na bayaning ito. We are thankful, we are grateful, Lord, sobra-sobra dahil sa kanilang mga buhay, sila po nagsasakripisyo. Kaya naman, Lord, ang iyong patnubay at gabay, ang iyong protection, ang iyong presensya ay nararandaman nila, Panginoon. Salamat po na ito po uh, ang aming 49th day ng aming pagbo-broadcast at bukas, It's our 50th day, Lord. We are thankful for the opportunity to be of service to our people and to your people and to be a channel of your blessing, to, be, to bring the message of hope and to bring encouragement and inspiration para mawasak, Lord, ang tanggulan ng takot, pangamba, at agam-agam, pati ng panik, Panginoon. Salamat po. Because of this coverage, faith is rising, Lord. Hope is rising, And your glory is being felt dahil in, you are invading every viewers and you are invading uh, every homes, Lord, with this coverage. Salamat po, Panginoon, for the answered prayers. Hallelujah. And thank you for the powerful testimony ng ni Pastor Conrad and Doña Lorena. And thank you for the powerful word uh, uh, given by Joshua. And Lord, and for the worship and the prayers that you have heard us, Lord, we are grateful and thankful. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, and everyone would say, Amen and Amen. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Lord bless you.
much, my dear viewers. Uh, announcement lang po. Uh, bukas, kung Webis ngayon, alam niyo na ako noong bukas. <laughs> At palaging tandaan, ha? Yeah. Huh? Mamayang hapon, lulubog ang araw at bukas din umaga, yan ay sisikat. Ha? <laughs> Kaya palaging umasa dahil may sa Diyos ang pag-asa. Kaya see you bukas at uh, 50 days, the 50th days, 50th day ng aming live stream and we will have a celebration with our volunteers. We call it the TFBC TV uh, team, a technical team. And thank God for this uh, brave young man. Uh, uh, mga staff, uh, matatapang na yun eh. Kasi <laughs> wala kami magawa kundi magtapang-tapangan talaga. Uh, uh, these uh, four young men who volunteered, uh, uh, kami, uh, four or five of them, and nagpapasalamat. So, magkaroon kami ng celebration. Imagine nakagawa kami ng live stream naka, uh, naka, yung 50 days I cannot imagine almost every day except Saturday ah, uh, nakapag uh, every day daily live streaming and we don't know what to do we're just listening and obeying the Lord nakita uh, uh, po yung mga song na yan uh, they are not prepared uh, as the spirit leads po yan no? and of course uh, the message of uh, Joshua uh, last week, sabi niya, Dad, I want to share the word next week. Yeah, so excited. Now, you you know, no? Uh, kailangan, very timely. Uh, kailangan, kasama natin si Lord sa gitna ng mga matinding bagyo sa buhay. Kaya, good morning po at see you bukas. Mabuhay po ang lahat kayo mga viewers. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Mabuhay ang TFBC family. Hallelujah. Chop, chop. Mua, mua. See you, boss. Pinagpala na kayo ni Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen.